Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Steve here from down at PVE. Sorry I've been a bit slack of late uploading videos. Uh, it's just been so busy. I'm just trying to sort of, uh, you know, spinning plates. I keep getting told, spinning plates. Uh, this is a quick video about this XK. This is um, the first XK that we're sending out as a manual converted car. That is the later version, the last of the Denso ECUs. Uh, a lot of the canvas stuff has been more complex than the earlier four liter stuff. Um, and the whole 4.2 revisions, we've had lots of little bits and pieces which are, um, that have been bugging and have not allowed us to give us like a, a complete conversion to sell. So um, we've now finished it, it's complete. We, we have now, all of the later version of the X100s um, are all now complete. The, the whole canvas we reverse engineered, there's loads of handshaking going on, which I won't bore you with, but it's been, you know, it's, it's this project that I've been sort of jumping in and out of as and when I can for Swallows. Because uh, Swallows are the, the brainchild behind all of this stuff. Um, and I'm just the, uh, I guess, the, uh, the organ grinder, as it were, making the electronic side of it work. So Swallows converted this. Um, before um, and like the, the mechanical side of it um, brought it down to me and like I say we're now complete we're now we're now finished so we should be able to start rolling the late versions of this manual conversions out now as and when uh, the four litre we've had sorted for a little while um, but I'll, I'll run through with you the the bits and pieces that can go on with this and the, the ECU we use max obviously um, and where it goes how it plugs in and the you know bits and pieces inside the car like you, you know how does a manual one behave well, I'll show you in a moment um, some other things that have sort of come along of late is the AHP I run the AHP in mine which is the 8-speed ZF gearbox like you know fitted to XF circa 12 onwards um, you know I've made one of those work in this car um, we've made all the adaptive pieces um, the, the flywheel the drive plate um, and we can make it work it works already so um, we could potentially put in an AHP into any one of these cars. Um, why haven't we done it yet? Well, you know, as a, as a road conversion, there's still quite a bit to be done. For instance, you know, um, the, the demo ones, I've got, I've got like a, a push-pull shifter with just like some button pushes for D and R, but obviously you guys don't want that in your car because it looks a bit agricultural um, or a bit race car-y and we want like a nice jack, don't we? So we want a nice shifter. Um, so we're, we're sort of looking into some bits and pieces to do that. Again, it's like a, it's a side project for me, this really. Um, so yeah, we've got some interesting bits and pieces going on in the future, but ultimately, this is a complete, the, the, the manual car, I was saying to um, somebody on the phone earlier on, I've probably driven the most manual ones there are in the country, because, you know, I've driven pretty much all of them, as far as I'm aware, certainly um, 10, maybe, um, got a lot of them race cars in fairness, but um, I've driven a lot of them, and the six speed gearbox that goes in this, the S type gearbox is, without a doubt, as far as I'm concerned, the, the way to go. Um, I wouldn't mess about with any other solutions personally. I find them a bit too notchy and not really suitable for a road car. Like reverse is a pain in the ass on every single one that I've got in with the other gearbox types in. So, like I say, personally, this, the manual six speed ZF style from the S type or the AHP. The AHP is like a, another level of uh, awesome as far as I'm concerned. But still, this is making this car. The, the, the manual conversion makes these cars. It, 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 it's a whole new experience compared to the old uh, slushy six-speed. So, anyway, let's um, on the five-speed ones as well. Like the the, the four-liter five-speed to the manual is like a. I just don't understand why you wouldn't do it. Frankly, the the five-speed is just very slushy. Um, you know, I, I get it. It is what it is. But to me, manual or the later eight-speed would make the cars significantly better. So uh, yeah, let's just, uh, I'll show you where the ECU goes first. Um, and then, you know, I'll show you inside the car, do a couple of power runs and then finish up. Again, probably a boring video, but to people that are interested in the manual conversions in these, it's potentially interesting. So our new Max ECU just essentially just bolts straight in, uh, goes into the original location. Uh, the original ECU, this is the, uh, the later version. There are three different types of ECUs fitted the XK. Uh, this is the, the last revision of them, which had the, uh, the more modern Denso ECU in them. Same or similar structure to the S-Type and potentially the XJ, um, but it's something we're gonna look into very soon. Now this is completely resolved. So the new ECU, 
Uh, again, just bolts in. We've, we've just folded up this little metal bracket, which just holds it in there sensibly, uh, keeps it out of the way. But again, you know, you could make, make something different should you so desire. Uh, the harness, the new harness, just literally plugs into the, uh, the original harness. This one um, is running speed density, so we've got a little boost pipe in there. We just made a little hole there to keep everything dry and sensible and secure in there. Um, this one's got Bluetooth, obviously, because it's the race, so you can have your uh, Android tablet. Uh, to look at anything you want to look at. We can now do data logging on the Android tablet because Mac CCU are awesome. Um, this little cable is just a USB cable which goes on down, which we coil up behind the glove box in case you would like to make any modifications to the ECU um, or when you go for tuning, if you're going to get it tuned elsewhere, absolutely fine. Um, the only other thing that we do do is there's a, I, I, it's plugged in now, so I, I won't pull it out now, but um, where the original Lambda sensor goes, um, on this bank um, or it's like a case of unplugging the original lambda sensor we've got a little adapter harness which goes on to the new wideband sensor um, and there is an extension um, via can which goes over there again um, it, it's it's minutes of work i reckon you could have one of these installed and running your manual xk or ahp which i'm working on i reckon you could have one of these running in probably less than an hour with the new ecu so it's a genuine plug and play i'm actually working on um this is a harness based on uh, an original header from the ecu so um basically we use these headers um, and i desolder them from old ecus which we buy from auto reserve because they're pretty gentlemanly up there uh, and then we essentially solder like a fly loom on fly loom onto them um i'm actually sorting now like a design for a pcb so it's literally hard plugs one end and hard plugs the other just these these are not problematic and they're in the dry but it's just a, a slightly more professional solution so that's the ecu that's the ecu installation original ecu cover just bolts straight back over um screwed on and then it's got a little trim cover which goes over the top and then it looks completely oem completely oem we get manual car, uh, everything else is just as it should be with the exception of obviously this uh, gear stick. This customer wanted a, um, like a C-type gear knob apparently, um, it was quite cool to be fair. There's a gator to go on yet still. Um, this is like something the Swallow's just got to finish off because obviously they it's their car essentially, their deal. Um, so from inside, again, it's just a simple case of all the gauges will just fire up and work as they should. Um, literally just turn the key, starts, everything is programmed in and ready to go. Laptops connected just via the uh, cable that I spoke about a minute ago. Everything just works as it should. Uh, the temperature gauge is an interesting one. Um, the original car has software, like the, the output to this is, is dumbed down a little bit. There's a big dead spot in the middle, so the car like can be 30 degrees one way or the other and that temperature gauge will just stick somewhere in the middle. Um, so we can either program this to be uh, real time, so it's actual um, what the temperature of the car is, uh, or we can just program it to be dumbed down the same as the original car. So this one is that, so that it just behaves in just how the original car would. Um, everything else is just as it should be. Uh, so your laptop's connected because we're obviously in the dyno. We've got a bit of tuning to do. Um, this is probably worth showing you. This is the um, this is the Bluetooth tablet. Uh, again, just connects via Bluetooth. Um, so this has got some displays which you, you don't have to have this connected at all. You don't have to do anything. This is just like a standard display that I would have. You can use this on your mobile phone or any Android um, device that's compatible. Um, some of the Chinese ones are not, sadly, but most of the, you know, some of the Chinese radios, let's say, are not. But um, it's worth just having a tablet or a phone to be able to use it, being honest. Um, they've got some really nice features now. Again, being able to log, you can pull up any of the PIDs the ECU can see. Um, it's also got some diagnostics here, so it brings up error code. Our ECUs, the Max ECU, does output error codes when there is a problem. It'll bring the management light on when there is a problem, but it won't obviously tell you the codes. This will, as will the laptop, of course. Um, so, um, we're on the dyno, so we need to just um, press our traction control. So, again, simple case, simple button there. Um, we press the button, and then the um, dashboard will light up and say dash, the DSC system is off, and then we can go driving on the dyno. Happy days. Otherwise, the, uh, the traction control will cut in. It's something, again, that we can program. Uh, the traction control can be as aggressive or not as aggressive as you want. Uh, but as you can see, this is the um, S-Type diesel gearbox. Um, and I'll be honest, it is much, much nicer than any of the other gearboxes I've driven in. It feels like a Jag. Um, the other one, I can't remember the bloody name of it. Um, the other one that I've seen commonly in here, 
it's horrible to get in reverse it's really notchy this drives like a road car should in my opinion so the customer for this car has uh opted to keep like the engine standard essentially so this is a standard engine uh these come out of factory 420 horsepower uh you know back in the day as it were um so yeah we're just basically tuning this just to make sure that we can get as best out of the engine as we can uh, so we'll run this up now and you can see how easy and nice it is to change up through the gears so again it's like a pedal box that swallows have uh, built there it's a custom pedal box goes up through the gears very nicely especially when you get the right one even better six speed um, again everything's working as it should the ABS will panic in a minute and throw up some lights because we just had the rear wheel spinning for too long even though the DSC is off um, right Let's do a little power run in this. And there we go, a couple of power runs. Uh, these sound glorious. We do love the AJ V8. It's my, you know, I play with these things pretty much day in, day out. Uh, I've got lots of interesting bits and pieces going on with them. If you follow any of my socials, you'll you'll see what we're doing. Um, you know, like I say, we're we're stepping. I, I like to think we're we're you know we're we're stepping ahead every day with what we're doing with these things. Like you know, we're we're sort of advancing along the way. Um, Swallows, Tom, he's got like a really interesting. Uh, AJ V8 build coming up at the moment to go into his new racing car and that's really exciting me um, we've got Mark over at War Engineering he's doing us well, lots of little bits and pieces to this engine um, you know it's going to be a fully forward flat plane prank all sorts of exciting bits and pieces um, so this is as I say essentially done uh, ready to go I'm going out now to set up traction control uh, because we can put various levels of traction control on it and I need to try and drive it on the road now to make it as um, you know, I want to try and replicate the original system as much as I can. Uh, the ABS pump is doing its bit, it's applying the calipers, but obviously the engine needs to be cutting some ignition out of it to try and, you know, have some quick, quick sort of control to, to actually get some traction back into the tyres. So, so I'm going to go out now and do that. Um, so the late X100 now is complete. So that kind of opens the door to some of the other models of similar year. So we've already done um, the S-Type although there are some other bits and pieces on the S-Type we've got to complete because we've only essentially done one and we now know that there's a couple of different um, CAN bus protocols within that range uh, and it also gives us um, potential for, as I say, XJ um, we've already done an X308 manual conversion or, or you know, it turned out we've done the electronic side of it so we've got the 4 litre nailed but it potentially opens the door to the 4.2 um, we've, we've got to talk about that a bit more and get one in and, and try it but you know, as far as I'm concerned and as much as I can see which is, you know, I've not fully tested it yet but it's very potentially opened the door to all of those things um, so again, keep an eye on the channel my socials, um, Swallow socials essentially it's their brainchild I'm just, like I say, along for the ride um, I keep moving around like this and seeing I've got like five or six chins going on here, so I'm, I'm doing that. Um, so, yeah, like hopefully it's an enjoyable video. If you're into Jags, old Jags like, like we are, then, you know, it potentially is interesting. Um, so, yeah, keep your eye on my socials, um, Swallow socials. It'll give you some other interesting bits and pieces about what we're doing. Um, where to buy this? Swallows. Swallows will do a whole drive-in, drive-out conversion for any of the X100s now. Um, if you're interested in buying the actual conversion harness um, which will come with the ECU and indeed the CAN protocol then that's available um, from probably next week on our web shop and Swallow's web shop. Uh, the only 
thing to concern with is if you're in another country we cannot sell you the ECU um, you'll have to buy the ECU from your Max ECU dealer it's just part of, of um, the, Ma the Max ECU dealership and how it works which is um, it's great because it means anyone in the UK has to come through one of the UK dealers um, which is which is a positive move from everyone's behalf so um, if like I say you're in another country and you think to yourself I quite fancy a manual conversion you'll have to buy the actual ECU elsewhere and we can send you a conversion harness um, and we can sell you the, the software and the map which will go into the ECU. So um, again, it's all explained on the website. So it's www.pvengineering.co.uk. Um, on there are links to um, the Swallows pages if you're into the, the whole deep conversion. As I say, all of it's available um, from next week on the website. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, whether it's informative or not who knows but um yeah it's another jag that we've sort of got ticked off in the box so it allows us to do absolutely anything we put a pair of turbos on it compound charge it who knows what's that going to happen but yeah it opens all those doors everything's completely open so you can run math um speed density you can run alpha n if you want um, whatever you want to do it gives us those options so yeah thanks again for joining us um speak to you all soon cheers bye bye <laughs>